Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Angular. So if you're planning on developing web applications, so you can start by using uh, Angular framework. There are different other frameworks as well. So there's React, there's Vue, and one of them is Angular. So to install Angular, you're going to go on the uh, site Angular, and uh, you're going to go on Setup. And uh, you will have you need to have Node.js install and uh, the M package uh, manager as well npm. So if you haven't uh, installed these two, you can start by installing these two, and then uh, we'll install the Angular CLI, the command line uh, interface that uh, we'll be using to uh, uh, install uh, to to create the project. And the different components as well. So it's quite easy. So you just have to run uh, this command uh, on the console. So I'm going to copy uh, this code over here. So I'm going to open my terminal and uh, I'm going to paste that over there. So I hope not really successful yet. So I think maybe I will need a sudo. Okay, let me just try it. Why not a sudo? So to give it administrator's uh, privilege. Right. There you go. So my password. There you go. So. Uh, Take a few minutes to get all the uh, packages. I'm not too sure about uh, if I have the latest version of NPM or even Node on it, but uh, I hope that uh, it will be able to install Angular. Oops. Okay. So Angular is used uh, to develop the front end of an application. So, uh, okay, so I think it's done now. Uh, yeah, this has been installed. So I'm just gonna check. So if we check this, so ng version, and yeah, so I've got the uh, so I've got node ten. And uh, I've got this one over here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna uh, create a new project. So I will go, I'll create a folder first. So I'm gonna go on my desktop. Uh, so I'm just gonna go on my desktop. Uh, over here, so I've got a folder. Okay, so I'm going to create a new folder here. So I'm going to call it projects. So this is where I'm going to place all my Angular project. So then in here, okay, so I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to call that. Uh, Let's say for school uh, system. So I'm going over here and I'm going to open terminal here. So let's see if I can open terminal from here. So I'm going to go in my terminal. So I'm going to 
going to say it's on my desktop. So desktop and hit on uh, angular and then project and then small system here it is so I'm gonna create my project here so I'm gonna run the code ng new and I'm gonna call it school school system and uh, click on that okay go routing so I'm gonna say yes and I'm gonna use uh, CSS I'm gonna say SAS uh, yeah so it's creating all these files for me so if I go in this folder here yeah it is these files are having created and it's uh, installing the packages for me might take a few minutes So Angular is normally used to create the uh, front end of an application. So it will use uh, HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. So it's a kind of framework of uh, structuring the code. And also, you know, it's have this idea of creating components. So you can reuse those components uh, in your application. So it reduces uh, uh, Know, the time to uh, to create code okay and uh, also uh, it uh, is a bit much faster uh, compared to uh, you know, the traditional way of writing uh, uh, code with HTML CSS and JavaScript so my question was just my here okay so normally I should have, uh, you know, sudo. If you don't put sudo, this is where you get, uh, you know, uh, issues in. Uh, okay, you know, pm one appreciated. Uh, so there's few few errors in there. But anyway, we'll see if the uh, application has been able to uh, install somehow. Yeah, so that's why it's uh, that's why it's better to you know run the code with uh, uh, you know the code sudo in front of uh, any command line. So I'm gonna try to open uh, my uh, Visual Studio code and I'll try to see if I can open that uh, project. And see if it's working. So it's on desktop, Angular, projects, school system, school system. So just let me open that. So here it is. So you can see uh, this is the, uh, uh, the other file that has been created. So let's try and see if I can. Oh, uh, yeah, basically because. Yeah, it, it did not install all the packages, so I'll try to create a, another one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete this uh, this project uh, here. So I'm going to just delete this one.
and uh, so we say sudo ng score and glass and new that is uh, the score system so let's see can that work Yes, yeah, for routine, I'm going to use SAS and now it's created uh, the file is announced starting the packages. Let me just have a look at the project. Let me try to refresh it. Oh, it's closed and open again. So, if I think to the same folder. Yes, uh, in the process in the source folder the app and uh, so these are the uh, main component for the app so should I go to the app and make modules so this is the one of the main uh, file so the, so it's still installing the uh, packages uh, only a few of them so this is the main file here Yes, this is where you will add uh, you know modules, providers and services uh, in your because Angular is a single base uh, uh, single page application. So this is like the you know the first the entry point of your uh, program and then from there it's gonna create other components. So it's gonna be one page with you know many components. So on your screen will be you know changing or Entertaining those uh, component, and uh, so this is the uh, main component. So you got this uh, file here, which we'll be, you know, uh, visiting uh, often. Uh, we'll be uh, adding components and, and uh, module. And if you look at the HTML, so this is the uh, normally the default page that will appear when you first uh, uh, run uh, the first application. Let's have a look here. So here, yeah, package install successfully. So this is best by you know using the word sudo. So uh, it gives the uh, you know the computer the privilege to uh, write on your disk. So here is now. So now to so I'm gonna enter into uh, the uh, folder score system which uh, has been created. So score system before I can. Sorry. School systems. So I go in the folder, and then to run the program, so I type on ng dash serve, or I can just put s. And uh, okay, so no dash there. So it's ng ng serve or s and then open to open the browser so this is how we run the application uh, in the browser okay and here okay let's do this uh, message file okay 
observe the expansion and reports. Okay, 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 so I can just see what's here in there. Okay. Uh -huh, yes. Let's look at them too. So. But you can't find the entry point. So school system here at entry point dot write entry point managers. So let me just put that in studio and so Now it's uh, compiling. So again, the fault with the pseudo uh, word before the command on the CLI. So this has been compiled successfully. So now we can open uh, this uh, link on the, or this address uh, on our browser, and uh, we will see the application. This is localhost. By default, it is four two zero zero, the port number. And here we got the uh, you know the uh, default. Uh, page for angular so if you want to add new components so you can look at the code over here so this is how we generate a new component and this is about angular material that we'll be discuss we'll be discussing later and uh, we'll see uh, the how to add dependencies and how to build tests as well so thank you for watching this video i hope now you know how to set up and install angular on your uh, computer thank you very much and see you in the next video